Hello mga kawamat, sa video lesson na ito, i-discuss natin how to solve exponential inequality. But first, we need to recall what is exponential inequality. So, pag sinabi natin exponential inequality, it is an inequality that involves exponential expression. So, I have a given uh, activity here. So, we need to identify kung saan dito yung exponential inequality. Okay, so, from the given, so, alin dyan kaya ang mga exponential inequality? So, of course, letter B. Another is letter D. Letter E. And, of course, letter H. So, yung apat na yan ay halimbawa ng exponential inequality. Okay, property of exponential inequalities. If your B, so yung B natin is yung base, is greater than 1, then the exponential function, y is equal to B raised to x, is increasing for all values of x. This means that your B raised to x less than B raised to y, if and only if your x is less than y. So, Kapag yung base natin ay greater than 1, the direction of the inequality symbol is retained. Ibig sabihin, hindi natin babaguhin yung symbol or yung inequality symbol. If your base is greater than 0 but less than 1, then the exponential function, y is equal to b raised to x, is decreasing for all values of x. This means that your b raised to x is greater than to b raised to y if and only if your x is less than y so kapag yung base natin less than sa 1 or uh, less than sa 1 but greater than 0 then the direction of the inequality is reverse o papalitan natin or i-reverse natin yung inequality symbol natin so rules for solving inequalities first if we have the same real number is added Two or subtracted from both sides of an inequality, the sense of the inequality is not changed. And of also, if we are going to multiply or divide it by the same positive real number, the sense of inequality is not changed. But, if both sides of an inequality are multiplied by or divided by the same negative real number, the sense of inequality is changed. Okay, let's have now an, an example. First, we have 3 raised to x plus 1 is greater than 81. So, ano unang gagawin natin? Kailangan equal yung base natin. Since meron tayong 3 at 81 dito, of course, ang gagamitin na nating base dyan is 3. So, ano kaya ang uh, gagawin natin kay 81? So, express natin na ang base niya ay 3. So, that is equal to 3 raised to 4. 3 raised to 4, that is equal to 81. So, ngayon, equal na yung base natin. So, ang titignan natin ngayon kung ang base ba natin ay greater than kay 1 or less than kay 1. So, since the base is 3 and that is greater than 1, the direction of the inequality is retained. Ibig sabihin, class, yung greater than sa given natin, hindi na natin papalitan yan. So, greater than pa rin. So, we're going to equate now the exponent. So, skunin natin. So, that is x plus 1 greater than 4. So, ang gagawin lang natin, lipat lang natin si positive 1 sa right side kasama ni positive 4. And that will become x is greater than 4 minus 1. And 4 minus 1, that is 3. So, therefore, x is greater than 3. So, ibig sabihin, uh, our solution set is from 3 to positive infinity. So, ang ginamit ko dito ay yung open parenthesis kasi yung 3 ay hindi kasama sa solution. Another example, we have 2 raised to 4x plus 1 is less than or equal to 512. So, uh, meron tayong 2 sa 512. So, yung goal natin, kailangan mag-equal yung base natin. So, si 512 express natin na yung base niya ay 2. And that is 2 raised to 9. So, since equal na yung base natin, identify natin 
kung ang base ba na, uh, yung inequality symbol ba natin ay i-retain -re natin o i-reverse. -re Since 2 is greater than 1, the direction of the inequality is retain. So, ibig sabihin class, yung less than or equal na inequality symbol natin ay hindi natin papalitan o hindi i-reverse. -re so, kunin na natin si 4x plus 1, less than or equal to 9. So, equate na natin. So, lipat lang natin si positive 1 sa right side kasama ni positive 9. And that is 4x less than or equal to 9 minus 1. And 9 minus 1 is equal to 8. So, divide both sides by 4. So, x is less than or equal to 2. Therefore, the solution set that we have is from negative infinity to positive 2. So, bakit uh, yung bracket yung ginamit ko dito sa 2? Kasi class, yung 2 natin dito ay kasama sa solution. Because of our inequality symbol, meron tayong less than or equal. So, therefore, bracket yung ginamit ko dahil kasama siya sa solution. Next, we have 3 raised to x less than 9 raised to x minus 2. So, again, kailangan mag-equal muna yung base natin. So, si 9, kailangan natin express para i-express na ang base niya ay 3. So, 3 raised to x is less than 3 squared. So, 3 squared is equal to 9 raised to x minus 2. Then, simplify natin. So, we need to multiply 2 kay x minus 2. So, 2 times x that is 2x, then 2 times negative 2, that is negative 4. Ito yun, no? 2 times x, that is 2x, and 2 times negative 2, that is negative 4. So, since same na yung base natin, so identify natin kung kailangan ba natin baguhin or kailangan natin i-retain or i-reverse ang inequality symbol natin. So, 3 is greater than 1, so therefore, the inequality is retained. So, less than pa rin yung inequality natin. So, kunin na natin si x is less than 2, 2x minus 4. Okay, so, ang gagawin natin dito, so, ang iba sa inyo ang gagawin, ang ililipat dyan nila is yung x. Ilalagay nila sa right side para hindi na maging negative yung x natin. Tapos, si negative 4, lipat natin sa right side. So, 4 is less than to 2x minus x. Then, 2x minus x, that is x. So, x is greater than 4. So, pag binasa natin to class, kapag ang x natin ay nasa right side ng number, ang basa natin dito ay x greater than 4. Again, ang basa natin dito ay x greater than 4, hindi x less than 4. Okay? So, paano naman kapag ganitong way yung ginawa nyo yung solution? So, ang iba sa inyo, ang gagawin, si 2x yung ililipat sa left side. So, Para magkasama sila nung x. So, ganito yung mangyayari ngayon. x minus 2x less than negative 4. So, x minus 2x that is negative x less than negative 4. Kanina, sinabi ko sa inyo, uh, bago ako magbigay ng example, na kapag yung both side ng inequality, kapag minultiplied or dinivide by the same negative real number, so this sense of the inequality is changed. So, kailangan natin baguhin ang inequality symbol natin. Kasi negative yung x natin dito. So, divide both sides by negative 1. So, yung x natin greater than 4. So, again, kapag ganito, class, uh, i-divide natin yung both sides natin by negative numbers, mag-change tayo o re reverse natin yung inequality symbol natin. So, parehas pa rin yan sila. Same pa rin sila. So, again, yung basa natin dito, x greater than 4. So, ang basa naman natin dito is x greater than 4. Therefore, yung solution set natin is from 4 to positive infinity. So, again, parenthesis ang gagamitin natin kasi ang 4 ay hindi kasama sa solution natin. Another example, we have 1 over 10 raised to x plus 5 is greater than or equal to 1 over 100 raised to 3x. So, ano sa tingin nyo kaya? Ano ang magiging base natin? Of course, 1 over 10. So, si 1 over 100, express natin as 1 over 10 squared. Because 1 times 1 still, that is 1. 10 times 10, that is 100. And then, simplify natin. So, 1 over 10 raised to x plus 5, greater than or equal to 1 over 10 
raised to 2 times 3x. So, i-multiply natin si 2 kay 3x. And that is 6x. Now, ano yung base natin? So, yung base natin dito ay 1 over 10. Aalamin natin ngayon, kailangan ba natin i-reverse yung inequality symbol natin or i-retain natin? Since yung 1 over 10 ay less than kay 1, therefore, the direction of the inequality is reverse. Ibig sabihin, i-reverse natin yung inequality symbol natin. Kung greater than or equal yan, so papalitan natin ng less than or equal. Again, so sa example na to class, yung base natin ay less than kay 1. Kaya kailangan natin i-reverse ang inequality symbol natin. Tandaan niya na kapag less than sa 1 ang base natin, i-reverse -re natin yung inequality symbol natin. So, kunin natin yung exponent ngayon. x plus 5, magiging ano na siya? Less than or equal to 6x. So, bakit kailan, kailangan natin i-reverse yung inequality symbol? Dahil yung base niya is less than 1. So, lipat natin si x sa right side para hindi na maging negative yung x natin. So, 5 is less than or equal to 6x minus x. And 6x minus x is equal to 5x. So, divide both sides by 5. So, yung x natin ay greater than or equal kay equal sa 1. Okay? So, again, yung x natin is greater than or equal to 1. So, paano naman kapag si 6x yung nilipat natin sa left side? So, kagaya kanina sa pre previous example natin. So, x minus 6x is less than or equal to negative 5. So, that will become negative 5x less than or equal to negative 5. Again, sabi kanina, if both sides of an inequality are divided by the same negative real number, the sense of the inequality is changed. So, kailangan natin babaguhin yung inequality symbol natin. Kung great, uh, less than or equal to, papalitan natin ng greater than or equal. So, x is greater than or equal. To 1. So, pareha sila. So, again, ang basa natin dito ay x greater than or equal to 1. So, kapag ang x natin ay nasa right side, pag binasa natin to, x is greater than or equal to 1. So, therefore, yung solution set natin ay from 1 to positive infinity. So, bakit nakabracket tayo dito? Dahil kasama si 1 sa solution natin. Okay. It's your time. So, quiz time tayo ngayon. So, I'll give you five examples. Uh, five questions, rather. Okay. Pwede nyo i-post yung video and then, sagutan nyo muna bago nyo i-play ulit. Then, yung next slide nito ay yung sagot na. Okay, so ito yung mga sagot. Ito yung sagot sa limang tanong. Ngayon, pag nakakuha kayo ng uh, 4 and above, ibig sabihin, you're doing great. So, pwede nyo i-share yung score nyo sa comment section. So, I would like to congratulate you in advance. So, kapag hindi naman, uh, pwede nyo i-try and i-try yung process. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.